私たちは生まれた故郷ってとても懐かしいですそのはるかはるかはるか昔の、うん、ふるさとに来たような気持ちで帰ってきたような気持ちですごくありがたかったです。Kashisama, the head of Shinyuan, was thinking much of Africa. And we had been planning to do our 10th anniversary here, so I said, Well, why don't you come? And then they said, Well, we'd like to do more than just come. So, the people who are living in the world are living in the world. So, the people who are living in the world are living in the world. Mama Africa, the people who are living in the world are living in the world. Sote tuna moyo moja, hisia moja, sote ni familia. Sisi wanao tumerejea na zawadi. Sherehe ya moto. The entire ceremony was a meeting of so many worlds. And they blended with such an extraordinary, attractive glow. The Japanese Shinyoen, they were like jewels. In their purple with the sun shining on them and the light. And the glow of the Buddha. It was a beautiful gift. Their solemnity, their reverence, their sense of the sacred, their concentration, their intensity about the elimination of evil with compassion. Such a strong sentence. I was very moved. And I saw that Kashisama was working on deeper spiritual levels. It wasn't just what was on the surface. There was something much deeper going on. There was a deeper healing that, that took place. Our Nini, our Japanese, our Nini, Kumbusi, our Kusu, our Wazi, our Kua, our Banawamba, our Kadwa, our Mani, our Nayanda, our Sasa, our Kwamutu, our Nawasi, our Moto, our Lafu, our Nawamba, our Sasa, our Kutumeo, our Bagoyao. Our Kiki, our Kati, our Kauka Kabisa, and our Nawamba, our Siku, our Nyesi, our Siku. I heard the chanting and said, now what happens? Now, will this be just one more spiritual event where you have a spiritual hierarchy and all the people are consumers of the faith but not participants of the faith? No, all of a sudden, the African drummers take over, the African dancers appear, all of a sudden, life begins down here. It was really beautiful, really, the energy they had and the smile that they had on their faces and just the fun that they had doing this. It was just extraordinary. They were touching into another dimension and manifesting something deeply ancient and beautiful which I think really moved the audience on a primal level. The fact that such an ancient tradition would throw open its arms to an ancient native tradition and not just invite them to come and see what would happen, but invite them to come and actually be part of what happened. That was what was so beautiful, sitting in that space with so many people knowing that each one had their hands in that ceremony in one way or another, and that it was the sort of accumulation of many people's efforts. I think there's something quite unique about this, and it's very easy to say that, but I think something in terms of the, the spiritual community and the artistic community coming together in a way that I think everybody has grown throughout this experience in some way, shape or form. I would love to see this very profound ritual take place in other parts of the world. I think if we could do this in places where deep healing is needed, we will see a different world in five years, ten years. ワンをしながらしていくことができるそのきっかけがや,やはりここから生まれましたママ
I would hope that what the ceremony said is that in the midst of a very war-weary world, that there is hope for peace and that it is possible for the faith communities of the world to embrace one another and in that embracing have a much stronger spiritual message for the world. Mm -hmm.